The pick or plectrum is used on stringed instruments like guitar, harpsichord, or bass. We have a protrusion knob which determines the position of the pick in relation to the string. And we're getting some pretty dramatic results here, partly in reaction to the termination settings here and the mass. Stiffness refers to the stiffness of the pick. And velocity adjusts the vertical velocity of the pick. And it interacts with the stiffness. And these can all be modulated by keyboard range and velocity. Let's go to the browser and copy this to layer B. And let's solo the second layer, which is identical right now. I'm going to tune it down an octave. And let's change some of the string properties. filter it to get a narrower range. We can change the body size and shape. And let's layer the two and pan them. These controls interact with the geometry module as well. These two position knobs are used to set the location of contact between the exciter and the string, and then the damper and the string. We get a thinner sound as we change the position, versus a darker sound. And this can be modulated as well. So there's a wide range of tone that we can get from this. These notes are all around the same velocity. So this will modulate it as well. When the absolute button is in, the position of the exciter or the damper is fixed to whatever note is played, like on a guitar, where the pick stays in one position when the left hand alters the length of the string. Now the damper controls are only active when the damper module is on. We get some inharmonic resonances introduced here. We can get rid of them with key tracking or amplify them. And the pickup module reproduces the function of a pickup that we get on a guitar. Now normally this is sent directly to an amplifier stage, but here it's sent to the filter module and body module first. It's basically a filter. Let's turn these off.
Welcome to String Studio VS3. 